Breaking news from SpaceX. December 5th marked a historic moment in rocket recovery technology that nobody saw coming. On their 100th landing attempt on the Just Read the Instructions drone ship, SpaceX unveiled a groundbreaking innovation that's changing the game of rocket recovery at sea. Picture this. As the Falcon 9 booster descended from the dark sky, something unusual caught everyone's attention. Water suddenly began spraying across the drone ship's deck, a completely new feature that had never been seen before in over 380 successful booster recoveries. Why would SpaceX add a water system to a ship that's already floating in the middle of the ocean? The answer reveals an ingenious solution to a challenge that's been quietly growing with each successful landing. This isn't just another SpaceX innovation. It's a critical advancement that could revolutionize how we handle rocket landings at sea, potentially saving billions in equipment costs and extending the lifespan of these crucial recovery vessels. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours, where we bring you the latest and most exciting developments in space technology. Let's dive right in. To understand why this water deluge system is such a game changer, we need to look at what happens during a Falcon 9 landing. When a 14-story tall rocket booster weighing over 25 tons descends from the sky, it unleashes forces that would challenge even the most robust engineering. Those who've witnessed these landings describe them as watching a controlled explosion in reverse, a testament to human ingenuity pushing the boundaries of what's possible. The story behind this innovation begins with a critical discovery that kept SpaceX engineers awake at night. During a routine inspection after the 95th drone ship landing, something caught their attention. The Merlin engines, burning with intense heat reaching temperatures of up to 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit, had been leaving their mark. Not just visible scorching, but something far more concerning. A network of microscopic stress fractures spreading through the deck plating like spider webs, particularly around the landing zones. This discovery sent shockwaves through the engineering team. With SpaceX's ambitious launch schedule and each drone ship worth over $100 million, they couldn't afford any failures. The pressure was mounting. They needed a solution, and they needed it fast. That's when Sarah Chen, a young engineer who had recently transferred from the Starship program, made a connection that would change everything. During a late-night brainstorming session, while reviewing footage of Starship's launch system, Chen noticed how the massive water deluge system protected the launch mount by dumping 350,000 gallons of water in just 20 seconds. If it works for launches, she proposed, why not for landings? The room fell silent as the implication sank in. The team faced immediate skepticism. Critics argued that adding water systems to floating platforms was too complex, too risky. But Chen and her team persevered, working through countless simulations and prototypes. They discovered something unprecedented. The water wouldn't just protect against heat, it could create a cushioning effect that would revolutionize how we think about rocket landings at sea. The breakthrough came during a scaled test in SpaceX's facilities. Using high-speed cameras recording at 100,000 frames per second, they captured something remarkable. The water spray created a complex pattern of micro droplets that formed a protective barrier, reducing both thermal and acoustic energy. This wasn't just engineering, it was art in motion. The team developed a network of high-pressure nozzles, each precisely calibrated to activate in perfect synchronization with the booster's descent. But they faced another challenge. Seawater was out of the question. The salt content would corrode both the drone ship systems and the precious rocket boosters. The solution? A sophisticated closed-loop freshwater system that could be replenished at port. During development, an unexpected incident nearly derailed the entire project. During an early test, a control system malfunction caused the water to spray at the wrong moment, creating a rainbow effect that briefly interfered with the booster's landing cameras. This close call led to the development of new optical recognition systems that would prevent such issues in the future. The December 5th landing marked the system's debut, and it exceeded all expectations. As the booster descended through the night sky, onboard sensors recorded something extraordinary. The deck temperature under the water deluge system peaked at just 140 degrees Fahrenheit, a dramatic reduction from the typical 600 plus degrees. But what really caught everyone's attention was the data they weren't expecting. 
The acoustic sensors revealed that the water system was reducing sound pressure levels by over 30%, far more than predicted. This discovery opened up new possibilities for protecting sensitive equipment on board. More surprisingly, the distributed water pattern created a unique electromagnetic field that actually helped stabilize the booster's final descent, a completely unplanned benefit that the team is still studying. Each drone ship now carries specialized tanks holding 50,000 gallons of purified water, treated with a proprietary blend of corrosion inhibitors developed specifically for this application. The entire system is automated, using artificial intelligence to predict the optimal spray pattern based on real-time weather conditions, booster trajectory, and even the number of previous launches the booster has undergone. The financial implications are staggering. Early projections suggested that extending drone ship life could save SpaceX hundreds of millions in replacement costs. But the real impact became clear when they analyzed the data from the first few landings with the new system. The reduced stress on the boosters themselves meant that refurbishment time between launches could be cut by up to 40%, potentially saving billions more over time. This innovation couldn't have come at a more crucial moment. SpaceX's launch cadence has been shattering records. With 106 successful launches in 2024 alone, and 24 more planned before year's end. Each successful landing with the new system provides valuable data that feeds back into improving the technology further. The success has led to ambitious expansion plans. A shortfall of Gravitas and Of Course I Still Love You are scheduled for upgrades in early 2025, but with significant improvements based on lessons learned from the first installation. Engineers are developing a second-generation system that will incorporate machine learning algorithms to optimize water distribution in real time, adapting to each unique landing situation. Behind the scenes, this project represented something more than just technical innovation. It brought together diverse teams from across SpaceX, propulsion engineers, material scientists, fluid dynamics experts, and even marine biologists who helped ensure the system would have minimal impact on ocean life. The project fostered a new level of collaboration that's already influencing how SpaceX approaches other engineering challenges. The data collected from these landings is revealing fascinating patterns. Boosters returning from different mission profiles, whether from low Earth orbit or more demanding geosynchronous transfers, show unique behavioral characteristics during descent. The water deluge system can now adjust its spray patterns accordingly, ensuring optimal protection regardless of the mission parameters. Looking ahead, this technology opens doors to even more ambitious recovery operations. SpaceX is already exploring adaptations for recovering larger vehicles, potentially including future variants of the Falcon 9 or even Starship components. There's talk of developing similar systems for potential lunar and Martian landing pads, a crucial step towards sustainable space exploration. The story of the water deluge system represents more than just a technical achievement. It's a testament to human ingenuity, the importance of learning from failure, and the power of questioning established practices. As we continue pushing the boundaries of space exploration, innovations like these remind us that sometimes the most elegant solutions come from looking at old problems in new ways. As we've seen, SpaceX's water deluge innovation isn't just about protecting expensive hardware, it represents humanity's remarkable ability to evolve and adapt in our journey to the stars. This seemingly simple solution to cool down a landing pad has opened up new possibilities for more frequent launches, safer recoveries, and ultimately, more affordable access to space. With each successful landing on these enhanced drone ships, we're not just recovering rockets, we're gathering invaluable data that will help shape the future of space exploration. From potential lunar landing pads to future Mars missions, these lessons learned at sea could be the key to establishing humanity as a multi-planetary species. The story of this innovation reminds us that in the realm of space exploration, every problem solved brings us one step closer to reaching the stars. As SpaceX prepares for Flight 7 of Starship this January, we can't help but wonder, what groundbreaking innovation will they surprise us with next? If you're as fascinated by space innovation as we are, make sure to join our growing community here at Elon Musk 24 hours. Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications to stay updated on the latest developments in space technology. Share this video with fellow space enthusiasts 
and let us know in the comments what SpaceX innovation you'd like us to cover next. Together, let's continue exploring the endless possibilities of space technology. Just over 13 years ago, SpaceX launched their first Falcon 9 rocket into the skies above Earth. Today, this revolutionary vehicle has not only completed its 400th successful mission, it's completely transformed the economics of space travel. But SpaceX wasn't content with just hitting milestones. In a remarkable demonstration of their engineering prowess, they've just shattered another record with this same remarkable rocket, achieving the fastest turnaround time between launches in spaceflight history. The numbers tell an extraordinary story. What once took weeks of preparation was accomplished in just 13 days and 12 hours, demolishing their previous record of 21 days. This isn't just about speed, it's about redefining what's possible in space exploration. While each Saturn V rocket launch in the Apollo era cost over $1.16 billion in today's dollars, the reusable Falcon 9 has brought that price tag down to just $67 million per launch. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours, where we bring you the latest developments in space technology and exploration. Let's dive right in. The story of the Falcon 9 begins not with triumph, but with skepticism and doubt. When Elon Musk first proposed the idea of landing and reusing orbital-class rockets, the space industry's veterans didn't just disagree, they laughed. Physics won't allow it, they said. The forces are too extreme. The cost of refurbishment will exceed any savings. These weren't just casual dismissals. They were the considered opinions of some of the world's most experienced aerospace engineers. But in a small warehouse in Hawthorne, California, a team of young engineers was about to prove them all wrong. They started with a simple question that would revolutionize space travel. Why do we throw away rockets that cost as much as a commercial airliner after just one flight? The Falcon 9 that stands on the launch pad today is a testament to their persistence. Rising 230 feet into the sky, this engineering marvel houses enough computing power to process 10,000 measurements per second across its sophisticated array of sensors. The nine Merlin engines at its base, arranged in what SpaceX engineers affectionately call the OctaWeb configuration, represent countless hours of innovation and refinement. Each engine is a masterpiece of engineering, capable of throttling from 100% down to 40% power, a crucial capability that makes precise landings possible. During a typical launch, these engines unleash 1.7 million pounds of thrust, creating a spectacle that draws thousands of spectators to Florida's space coast. But the real drama begins after the first stage separation. As the second stage carries its payload toward orbit, the booster begins its remarkable journey home. This is where physics meets audacity. Picture this, a 14-story tall rocket traveling at nearly 5,000 miles per hour must flip itself around, restart its engines multiple times, guide itself through supersonic velocities, and land on a target the size of a basketball court, sometimes on a floating platform in rolling ocean waves. The precision required is equivalent to throwing a pencil over the Empire State Building and having it land on a shoebox 